Place value is the value of a digit in a number and shows whether the digit's value is tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. In addition to our regular whole number place values, digits that follow the decimal represent fractional numbers or numbers that are less than one. A number in the first place to the right of the decimals represents tenths. The nine here represents nine tenths. A number in the second place represents hundredths. So the one here represents one one hundredth. A number in the third place after the decimal represents thousandths. The five represents five thousandths. A place value chart works well for whole numbers, but we need to expand it to include decimals. Let's take a closer look at the decimal place values focusing on tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So how do we say or read these numbers? What do they represent? So if we look at a number like 3.91, you can see where each number fits in the chart. The 3 is 3 ones. The 9 is 9 tenths. The 1 is 1 one hundredth. When we say or read decimal numbers, we read them differently than the numbers to the left of the decimal. For a number like this, you will often hear people say 3.91, but in math we read numbers mathematically. It helps to show we understand what they represent. So how do we say this number? We say the 3, then where the decimal is we say AND. Next we look at the numbers after the decimal and we read them just like we would a whole number. In this case, 91. And finally, we give the value of the last digit. This number has two digits after the decimal, so the value of the last digit is hundredths. Put it all together and you have three and 91 hundredths. Let's look at another example. First we say the whole number, the part before the decimal, like we always would for any whole number. 13. We follow this with an AND for the decimal. Then you put the 2, 7, and 8 together to say 278. Then you follow this with the place value of the last digit. The last digit, 8, is in the thousandths place. Put it all together, you would read this number 13 and 278 thousandths. Let's go back to one of our original numbers and try to read it. After it's up on the screen, pause the video to see if you can figure it out. Then continue the video to check your answers. Here's the number. First, we say the whole number, 6013, followed by AND for the decimal. Next we look at the numbers after the decimal and we read them just like we would a whole number. In this case, 915. Finally, we follow this by the place value of the last digit. The last digit, 5, is in the thousandths place, so we say thousandths. Put it all together, you say 6013 and 915 thousandths. 